You uh, recently posted something on your Instagram just showing support to Russell Westbrook yes. with the, the fan situation in Utah. And you did say you thought about deleting it or you might delete it later. Yeah. Why didn't you delete it? <laughs> just to uh, I, I might, you know, after a while I delete it. But, you know, it was just something that was in my mind. I wanted to voice out, you know. I know a lot of the fans in Utah, you know, follow us players, and I think our voice is important in the community as well. You know, so I just felt you know, that's the way I felt uh, after the incident, obviously, and, and, and kind of seeing what you know the guy had posted before, uh, like even like six months or a year ago. So um, you know, it, it was unfortunate. It was uh, something that was totally uncalled for, and I just wanted to. to uh, to voice my opinion on it. Have you seen the, the news with Blake Griffin too, with him being called? I, I saw yeah. that. I saw that. I don't know exactly the, the full extent of it, but I, I kind of saw something happen with the, with the fan calling him boys. Right. And so you see, like, the situation is not, you know, just to Utah. It's like, oh, it seems like it's all around. Definitely. And I mean, it's not just sport. I mean, it's, right. it's, it's life in general, and you see it everywhere. Uh, the bad thing about it is that, you know, he's becoming more and more. Um, out there and people think you know, yeah, more comfortable and empowered to say what they feel even if it was you was a totally you know, out of line and that's, that's, that's where I, you know, I, see, I see the problem Do you think there's a way to prevent this or to control it? Or? Not so much, you know, I think people are going to be um, you know, they're going to be humans they're going to express their feeling in ways sometimes that it's not appropriate um, you can't really stop it but I think definitely uh, afterwards, you know, having a no tolerance policy, I think that's to start. You know, for the NBA, just to, uh, as soon as something like this is said, you know, you, you, you got to keep the uh, the, the fan out. And uh, you know, I think a, a, a life ban is, is, is something that's that's you know speaks volume. And you're no stranger to activism as well. And of course, with your situation in New York and everything, when you go back to New York, do you still kind of feel that or remember that no, or think about really. it? I mean, no. I remember it <laughs> daily, I would say, you know. But no, it's not something, you know, that I hold against anybody. Uh, it's a situation that happened. Uh, you know, in, in my view, you know, it's, it's embodied in the system. Um, and until people really, you know, uh, are willing to address the situation, call it, you know, what it is and, and make changes at the, at the systemic level, you know, um, you know, things will kind of stay the same and it's unfortunate.